My name is Eugenia. I'm currently a research fellow at the Duke NUS um, Medical School. Um, I'm part of this small lab um, called the Viral Research and Experimental Medicine Centre at SingHealth Duke NUS. The work that I've done so far looks at the measles, mumps and rubella vaccine as a framework and we try to understand um, what immune responses are present that can enable us to distinguish um, individuals who are, who are actually responding to the vaccine and those that aren't responding to the vaccine. Attending the conference on framing the response to emerging virus infections has um, so much relevance for us. And I think um, it's really a platform for everyone to kind of just come together and um, look at the research that's already out there, look at some unpublished research and share our ideas on it. The first Keystone Symposia that I attended was, I think, um, wow, must have been about five years ago. Um, but it was in, uh, it was held during the winter season. Um, was my first time seeing snow. So uh, that was great. There was something very new and exciting about just stepping into that conference center and um, meeting like scientists from all, all across the world. Um, and because we're from Asia, I think um, being able to attend such an overseas conference, it really enables you to kind of expand your network a little bit and get to meet people that you usually would not get to meet. Travel awards like these ones that the Keystone Symposia provides really enables young scientists to um, kind of travel outside their comfort zone. Um, it was a really new experience to kind of um, just present our work at the poster sessions and um, really get some feedback and comments from fellow scientists as well as key opinion leaders who are attending the conference and I think that's very helpful when you're a young scientist, you're trying to formulate your thoughts, you're trying to get feedback um, on the work that you're doing and I think that's very helpful.